right in. So principle number one of influence is consistency. Robert Cialdini, Dr. Cialdini says that the most powerful force in human psychology is our need to remain consistent with who we believe we are. I'm going to say that one more time. The most powerful force in human psychology is our need to remain consistent with who we believe we are. And some of our services use that principle really well to get people doing what we want them to do on behalf of our clients. So here's a complete example. So these are actual examples from actual marketing campaigns that worked incredibly well. So number one was they were, this is for a financial advisor. We serve a number of them and they were making phone calls to confirm people's reservations to come to a retirement planning workshop. We have an advisor running one right now. And the huge difference was when the person calling who was, they had just registered online and the admin assistant was calling to confirm the reservation. When they said, apologize for the typo, when they said, we'll mark you on the list is coming then, they had an X percent show up rate of those people. When they changed one word and they said, we'll mark you on the list is coming then, okay? And the person said, okay. It dramatically improved the number of people who actually showed up because they verbally committed and agreed to the statement that they were coming. So now they have to remain consistent with who they believe themselves to be. They believe that their word matters, that they do what they say they're gonna do, that they have integrity. So when they agreed to be marked on the list, it dramatically increased the show up rate. That's a guy there, right? Underneath him, <clears throat> Garrett. Mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody talking. So this is hugely important if you have events. So if you have a in-person event, if you have an online event like this, if you do a webinar, we implemented this. We used it in our emails when we confirm their reservation. We used it even better. It works even better via text message. So when we send a text message saying, hey, Stephen, thanks so much for registering for the retirement planning workshop. We'll mark you down on the list is coming then, okay? And they reply back and say, yes. The show up rate dramatically increases. Even if you, it was a one-on-one -on -one sales call, we've had plenty of times over the years that people book calls on our calendar to talk about their marketing and then they don't show. Even though they get email confirmations, they didn't show. What we found is when we added, we'll mark you down as on, you know, you're scheduled on Seth's calendar. We'll mark you down at two o'clock on Wednesday and that you're going to be there. Okay. All they have to do when they reply back and say, okay, or yes, it makes a huge difference and it costs you nothing to implement. It increases show up rate 17.4%, which for example, we do, I did three webinars back to back to back yesterday. Those webinars were, offer, were teaching and then offering our products and services to lists of our clients' partners. So for example, a publishing company that we work with put about 100, 100 of their authors on our webinar to learn our process. When we did this follow-up, process to them. When we did this follow-up process to the third webinar I did for 118 people who sell courses online, it magic, we literally had almost, which is unhurt, which is crazy. We had about 70% of the room show up live. Normally we're used to getting 30%. If hundred people register, only 30% show up live. Even after we eliminated the replay and said, we're not doing a replay. The only way to watch the webinar is to show up our, open, our show up rate was still 30 to 40%. When we added this, we got better than 17.4%. When we added this, our show up rate was 70%, which we haven't had a 70% show up rate probably since in webinars first came out and they were new and people thought it was exciting. In medical offices, especially in dental offices, when they offer you your next, when your cleaning is done, your hygiene appointment is done and you have... And they say, okay, when would you like to come in in six months from now? If they fill out the reminder card and hand it to you telling you when your appointment is, 
versus if they ask you to fill it out just the day and the time, it increases show up rates 18%. You already booked the time, you already agreed to it. But if you fill, if you as the patient fill out that little fill in the blank business card, it increases your show up rate 18%. When voters were shown an American flag on a website as the background before they took an online survey, eight months later, the amount of them who actually showed up and voted increased 22%. So even though they forgot all about the survey, even though they didn't even realize that there was an American flag background on the website, it increased their show up rate to vote eight months later, 22%. So it lasts, even though it's not conscious, even though it's subconscious, it still lasts. Now, he did an amazing study. He had people go to a beach and he had some of his college students because he is a professor at, he is the professor um, at Arizona State University. He's the region's professor emeritus of psychology. Now, the setup on the beach was they had a couple of college kids playing the couple on the, on the blanket with the cooler, sitting enjoying the beach. And they got up and left. And the person who was, was being observed, who didn't know they were being observed, was the person on the blanket next to them. And they had somebody sketchy looking, walk over to the blanket, steal their boom box, grab it and run away. The person sitting next to them, who didn't know them at all, intervened about 20% of the time. So every 10 times someone stole the radio, two of the people sitting next to them got up and chased after that person and said, hey, you're stealing that. Here's the crazy part. When they, the people on the blanket ask the pe person sitting next to them, hey, can you watch my things? Type an answer in the chat box for me. How many do you think intervened? What do you think the percentage response went up to? Type in the chat box. Kristen says 90%. Tom and Maria say 50%. Victor says 80. Sean says 50. Tony says 87. I love the specifics. All right, we got a couple hundreds. 19 out of 20 of those people ran after the thief and physically restrained them. They didn't just say, hey, stop. They didn't chase after them yelling, hey, stop. They literally tried to tackle them or hold them down and prevent them from escaping. So the person who answered 95% was right. Bruce was gonna say, of course you were Bruce. 19 out of 20, and, some, and the thief, the actor playing the thief was actually a pretty large guy. He was large, he was wearing sketchy looking clothes, he hadn't shaved, like his hair was messed up, like he looked semi-dangerous. But 19 out of 20 people ran after someone bigger than them and tried to physically stop them because they agreed to watch the person next to them who they didn't know, who was a total stranger. They agreed to watch their things and they had to remain consistent with their agreement. So in your sales presentations, no matter what business you are in, one of the ways to implement this, and we'll put you in breakouts on each principle and you're all gonna mastermind and brainstorm together. But one of the ways to implement this is throughout your sales presentation, we ask questions to get the prospect to say yes. Not yes to buying yet, but yes to something. We will say, hey, am I on the right page? Am I going down? Bruce and I just did this literally 40, less than an hour ago. And throughout the presentation that we were presenting together to the doctor, I said, does that make sense? Yes. Um, am I on the right track? Yes. Is this your challenge? Yes. Can you picture how that would benefit your business? Yes. I keep asking, they're called trial closes. I keep asking all the way through, getting those little micro commitments. Because what I found is each time I added one, my close rate went up. Because if I got them to say yes six or seven times in that 45 minutes, I've built up that consistency. So literally it is much, much harder for them to psychologically say no. 
it is easier to just say yes because they've already said yes. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, first principle, we're gonna work shop.